Hi, everyone. This is Linda from Let's Talk Prepping. And, you know, I really hate bringing you stuff like this, but it's stuff you really need to know. You want to know what they have planned for us and how close it is to being implemented. But most of all, we need to plan on how to stop it. What are the possibilities that we can change what is about to happen? I'm over here at leoholman.com, L-E-O-H-O-H-M-A-N-N.com. And we have bombshell video. Economist at World Government Summit says new financial world order about to shift in dramatic new direction. And the World Government Summit is underway this week in Abu Dhabi. And this is the first bombshell report. And this woman is Dr. Pipa Malgram. And she was a special advisor to George Bush. And she's an expert on economics and technology. And she made a statement that confirms everything, this myself, meaning Leo, and many other so-called conspiracy theorists have been reporting for a long time, that a cashless society is looming right around the corner. And her video is on March 30th, which would be yesterday. And it's only a minute and 43 seconds if you want to come here and look at it. But here's what she says. I'll say this boldly. We are about to abandon the traditional system of money and accounting and introduce a new one. And the new one, the new accounting, is what we call blockchain. It means digital. It means having an almost perfect record of every single transaction. And let me go back and reread that. It means having an almost perfect record of every single transaction. That happens in the economy, which will give us a far greater clarity of what's going on. Why do they need to know that you just went and bought a can of beans? I don't understand this. So she is a globalist and elitist. And this new system, Mal McGreen talks about with such enthusiasm, will not only be digital, it will be centralized and it will be programmable. Do not confuse it with Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. The only thing it will share in common with other crypto is that it will be based on blockchain technology. So what do I mean by programmable money? And that might be about the first time I've really heard this term. This means that the central banks will have complete control over it and will be able to program your money so that it can only be spent on things that have been pre-approved by the government for you. Let me reread that. Can only be spent on things that have been pre-approved by the government for you personally. Or perhaps you will be able to spend your digital money on whatever you want, but after you purchase a certain amount and you have reached your personal quota, probably based on that social media score they're trying to get for you. For example, ammunition, it shuts off. What you are allowed to spend your digitally pre-programmed money on will depend upon, oh, there it is, your social credit score. This money will be linked to everyone's personal digital identity. The digital ID marks the other pillar of the new digital economy that they haven't really told you about yet. But if you read their documents at the World Economic Forum, you know it's coming. As I've stated before, the entire Great Reset hinges on two things, the establishment of a global digital currency and a global digital identity for every man, woman, and child. And, you know, it's really beyond me why they want to know what every person in the world is doing. And this woman, Pippa Malm Green, is warning us, the system is at the door. And once it's here, it marks the beginning of the end because nobody will be allowed to buy or sell without becoming a digitized, hybrid human being. I believe it will be possible for us to live outside the system for a while, but we need a plan, a network. We will need to live in a community with like-minded refuseniks. He says the vast majority of people will walk blindly into this digital trap, only to regret it later. 
They will lose all autonomy over their bodies as well as over their minds. Critical thinkers will be banned from the system. And he goes through here some of the things, if you believe all these things, you're going to be marked in this system. I won't read them because YouTube will probably take me down if I do. But if we come down here, they've told us what they're going to do. Are you listening? They've told us that severe food shortages are coming. They've told us they're working on a new digital currency. See Biden's executive March 9th order. They've told us that a major cyber attack is coming. And it will target our banking and financial system. And that's going to be the pretext for the new digital money system. So here it is. I wish I had better news for you. So what can we do? Well, if you're working and getting a paycheck, it will be a digital paycheck. And you're going to be at their mercy. But maybe we can form small groups of individuals who can barter and trade. Maybe we could become cyber experts and somehow stop it. We need to find enough like-minded people to protest. You know, if you buy ammo, they'll shut you off. Maybe you buy a solar generator and they put you on the watch list. It's very scary. So think about how we can stop it and talk it up among your friends, especially those friends who think the government can do no wrong. Hey, I never buy ammo. So the government wouldn't stop me from making purchases. And you know they really believe that. They would be shocked when all of a sudden they were cut off. Let me know in the comments what we can do and how we can form some kind of a resistance movement. And be sure to subscribe and like the video. And thanks for watching and keep on prepping.